Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another video. I'm out with my man Captain Johnny today. We are trying to catch a bunch of fish in the Florida Everglades. I got this tiny little 10 cent lure and I'm gonna try and catch a bunch of fish on those. And Johnny's think fishing what I think is a prop bait. Yeah, that right? that's right, prop bait. Beautiful, so we're gonna try and catch a ton of species for you guys today. Let's get into the video. Send it. Right here we have what's called a crappie jig. Tents, I mean, they used to be 99 cents when I bought them as a kid for a 10 pack. So it essentially it was 10 cents a lure. I think they might've went up a little bit and they might be like $1.20, $1.30 now. But this silly little lure with a tiny little hook, almost anything eats. You can catch things like peacock bass on them. You can catch things like a bunch of Oscars, a bunch of different cichlids. A little bit of anything's gonna eat it because it just emulates a little minnow. I actually grew up using them for things like Spanish mackerel, blue runners, and other saltwater species fishing on the pier. And so using that freshwater bait to catch saltwater fish is kind of how I grew up using it originally. But should be an absolute killer day. Can't wait to show you guys how many fish we catch. Oh, oh my god. Dude, these I mean, things roll. Oh, it's a double up. Johnny's on too. Dude, these things are ferocious. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. So that right there is an Oscar. Look at those bright reds. That is, oh, that's wild. So these are, as he tries to get away from me, these are one of the invasive species that I was talking about here that you have out here in the Everglades. They really have taken over a lot of areas, but very, very unique fish. And yeah, that was very, very aggressive. Wow, look at the colors on that thing. Choked that crappie jig and just popped it. Kind of just got like a bass feeling type mouth, if that makes sense. Just, you know, a little baby teeth on there, but nothing too sharp. Out here, especially in this part of the Everglades that we're at, you have a bunch of native species and a bunch of non-native species. I'm gonna kind of show you guys throughout the day what those are and we'll, we'll talk about it you know a lot of these fish have been put here by humans we've just released them into the areas and a lot of the invasive ones have taken over so Vic's behind the camera right now he's actually going to be taking a bunch of invasive species home today for a catch and cook on his channel oh, I got Johnny in the back hooked up again oh this might be a good one oh Oh, yeah, that's a decent one. It's a oh, jumper. This would be a keeper. Double! Yeah. They're stacked. Every every time is going to be a double, basically. All right, There's a slab. On. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. That's one like than a I pounder got. right there. Yeah. Hey, look, you don't even have to trim your tag ends and they're chewing. <laughs> that's the most unprofessional knot I've ever tied in my life. <laughs> I said, Hold John. Way Vic over there. I literally missed mine. Dude, this rod is sick. It's nice as this, this is the Light Cloud 9 by Ocean's Legacy. <laughs> a lot of fun to catch these Oscars with. That guy choked it too. They have a very pretty pattern, don't they? This is crazy because literally, oh, he's peeing all over you, Vic. I know you like that. Um, <laughs> literally, uh, There's one. Yeah. We've been fishing five minutes and we already got like 10 fish in the boat. Oh, this is probably the biggest one so far. I've yeah? Got. Oh, he's a spike. Oh, little triple tail looking thing. He actually has the mouth of a tilapia. That's probably more. Exactly the mouth of a tilapia. It's a little windy, so they're spinning, but. Wow, let's really take a second to appreciate that knot, though. I mean, that, <laughs> you want maximum loop, right? Sting where? Are you in the middle of the canal, the sides? Where? We're casting into the sides, into the lily pads. I've noticed the patterns of these fish, they'll literally ball up real tight together in the lily pads. So we're in the lily pads today. Where Johnny hooked up last time, I literally cast it in the exact same spot and hooked one too. So the fish are definitely holding together. So if one, well, I don't know what that is there's right there. There's a fish that's like swimming. What is that? It's like a mullet. There are a mullet in here, yeah. So actually, oh! oh! Look at that, just like that. Just like oh, that's Johnny a said. Micro. Yeah, I mean, all I catch is small fish, so all the boys on Instagram know that. 
Well, you hold them out to make them look pretty big. Yeah, though. I mean, I'm really good at making them look good for pictures, but uh, in terms of actual size of the fish that I catch, they're not huge. Can we get, oh, I was gonna say, I want a live demonstration of how to long arm. Ah. Let's say you're not great at taking fish pics, or you're like me, and you don't catch big fish. So you need all your boys on social media to think that you're good at taking fish. Fish pictures. So as long as you sit here, extend the elbows, oh, yes. and hide your hands behind the fish, Man, that fish just gained like 10 pounds. Yes, he did. Isn't that impressive? You gotta hide your body as much as possible too. I've never caught one of these before. Johnny says it's extremely rare to catch one of these. It's called a jaguar cichlid. We've been catching, what, all day? Oscars all day. Hundreds of Oscars. Hundreds of Oscars. This is the first one of these. Super, super cool looking fish. Very, very unexpected. Johnny's like, I caught one last trip, so we're not gonna catch another one for a month, but got one today. Dude, what a great time to catch one too. That's so cool looking. Man, like you just... Sick. I'm very happy you got to see one of those today because yeah, these man. are by far my favorite cichlids that you'll find in the Everglades. Awesome. They're very rare too, so very happy for you, Ryan. Thanks, man. Today's video is sponsored by Quadlock. Quadlock is a mounting system for your phone. You can attach your phone to your boat, your ATV, your bicycle, really any action sports that you're into and you would wanna keep your phone with you, you can mount your phone to that vehicle, whatever it is. We've mounted a couple quad lock mounts onto the boat. Johnny and I this morning took like 10 minutes and we just attached a couple adhesive mounts to the boat and his phone has been secured to the boat for the entire day. Johnny was actually telling me that there's not a good solution on this boat for attaching his phone. So that's why he was really interested in coming out and doing this today. So I don't know, what do you think so far? I think it's really the perfect, you know, all around thing that you could have. It, it's really secure, it's not gonna fall off the boat and it also charges, which is a huge bonus for me because those 10 hour days on the water are common in my industry. So I'm glad to have it on the boat. Push down on it, turn the phone, snaps out. Bam, then you have your phone in your nice little quad lock case. All it is is a phone case that quad lock sends with you with your order. And you wanna put your phone back in, push down, snap in, and look, the phone's charging. It's as easy as that. I think it's another great solution for you guys as well. If you don't have like a GoPro and you don't wanna go buy a GoPro, but you do wanna film some of the stuff that you do or take pictures, the best camera to film with is the camera that you already have on you. So. Huge shout out to Quad Lock for sponsoring today's video. I've linked all the products that we're using in today's video down in the description below. Check them out if you're interested. Uh, this right here is a Mayan cichlid, folks, and these are the main reason that the peacocks were introduced to the state of Florida. These guys are super invasive, and uh, the peacocks were introduced to help eradicate this species. Um, these guys get about a pound and a half, and uh, they're real pretty when they're like this. They were originally aquarium pets, as you can tell why. They're very beautiful. And I still beat you. <laughs> what do you got? You oh, got a I got a baby peacock. Okay, Look your species definitely wins over my species. Look at that. That's peacock number uno for the day. Not the most incredibly colored peacock that I've ever caught, but it's been a long time since I caught one of those, man. That is cool. A little different eat on the crappie jig. Definitely one of my favorite fish, favorite freshwater fish to catch because of how aggressive they are and how, how many different things that they eat. Very unique thing that's not native to Florida, but I'm so happy that they're here because they're just super fun. Hopefully we catch some bigger ones today. These guys are cool. Let's see you boys kiss. Ah! They didn't like it. They did not like it, but I like them. So we move spots, trying to change gears, target some other fish, but uh, these Oscars are out in full force today. Actually trying to target some bigger peacock bass right now. When I just caught a little peacock in the uh, Oscar spot, now we're in the peacock spot catching Oscars. So maybe a little backwards today, but we're seeing a bunch of peacocks up on the shore right now where we're at. So let's see if we can get one. Swap to a bigger profile jig. This is just kind of like a black, just bucktail jig for lack of a better term. Literally seeing these peacocks sitting on the bank. One just swirled on my jig really good. They're not eating it all the way. I think they're getting a little defensive. Well, the Oscars are still chewing. Ew. Does that get you excited, Vic? Yes. Are you excited to clean like 20 of these later? <laughs> Born for this. You know, another thing that's been cool about this is we haven't had to mess with bait all day. It's literally all been artificials. 
And I don't think, I think honestly this, everything we're doing, literally, these lures would definitely outfish live bait because you don't have to waste the time rebaiting the hook. You can just unhook the fish that you got, recast, catch another one. Dude, there's no peacocks. The Oscars so, have fully taken over. I'm seeing the peacocks. They just haven't gotten a chance to get to it. The Oscars are so ferocious. So as soon as Vic put the camera away, I was like, hey, look, there's like five peacocks up on that shore. Threw over, hooked a nice one. Oh, and lost a nice one. Let's see if I can catch one of his friends. Spooked peacock. He's still there. Oh, oh my. my, broke my rod. Oh that is, my. oh, that is your rod, I was going to say. Your cloud nine. R.I.P. How did that, oh, your jig hit the it perfectly. jig hit the rod as it was moving. Wow, that's like the first rod I've broken in a really long time. Oh that sucks. My God, Completely my fault. Huh? Completely my fault. <laughs> that sucks. If you guys can tell me where the quote, I'm a peacock, you gotta let me fly, is we can be best friends. Or where that's from, we can be best friends. I feel like Will Ferrell had to have said that. It was, some... So it's a Will Ferrell movie. However, Will Ferrell did not say that. Peacock? Oh yeah. So much fun, guys. Such a cool looking fish. Literally, I've been seeing so many of these peacocks and they're actually a little bit spookier today than they normally are. But I watched him just sitting on a rock and I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to lead this one a little bit more, present it to him in a good way, put him up, and he just absolutely annihilated the jig. Oh yeah, that's a lot better, a lot better specimen than that first one that we caught when we were still Oscar fishing. This one actually has colors. Yeah, look at that guy, man. Like, what fisherman would not be excited to catch a fish like this? Because that is just such a pretty, pretty animal. Orange, green, I mean, it's like South America's perch, but they're a little bit more aggressive. And then, a, you know, a mouth is definitely a combo between a bass and a snook. Oh my gosh. What's not to like? An aggressive fish that's willing to eat a bunch of different types of lures. Let's catch a bunch more. I'm excited. Johnny, how big would you say this one is? Two pounds. Two, two pounds. And, and you catch them up to five pounds out here? Oh yeah. Up to five pounds. Take yeah, that garlic. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's Oh. This is the first one that I've got on a blind cast, which tells me we're getting into much better peacock territory, getting away from some of the Oscars. But they're getting more and more aggressive. A lot of these fish I feel like have been, you know, fished at or casted out a lot today because they definitely have, uh, you know, been a little bit spookier, but still awesome fish. Look at the red under the gills, man. Like that is just such a unique coloration that I'm just not used to seeing on fish. So sick. Very South oh my Whoa. god, Johnny! Is that, that a peacock? That was the sickest that was a peacock. Day. Hey, it's a nice one too. Let me get under you. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's a that's a decent one. That's the South Florida fishing. Okay. I don't really know how well this guy is hooking. He's got a big old jig head in his mouth. Just eat him right here. There we go. Man. Biggest peacock of the day. Yeah, so far. Oh, look at the male. He's a male too with that big head. Oh man, that's a pretty one there. Oh, Ate the man. little uh, little swim bait that we're using there. Talk about that hump. The uh, see so you guys see this hump here. It's kind of squishy and kind of feels weird to touch, but that shows or you know separates that this fish is a male by the by this big hump on its head. And um, these humps get bigger during mating season, I guess. They uh, store some extra protein up there for mating season, so um, that's really it. This is really beautiful fish. This is uh, the only hole that I see in his mouth, so that's a good thing. That means that this fish has really never been caught much or not many times in its life. There's millions of fish out here, so it's good to see a nice healthy one. Perfect. Go. Go, go. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, that was a 
Oh, sh nice peacock. Yeah, dude, it's a really nice peacock. Actually, though. Thought it was an Oscar, didn't you? I did. And when I saw him come up, oh my gosh. Here he comes up again. Look at that. Oh. On the 1K is so much fun. Okay, okay. Nice fish, man. This one's gorgeous, too. It's got all the right markings and everything. It's barely hooked, so I'm just gonna reach down and grab him. Oh, another male. Another big male. Look at that baby. You better give me copyright claims on that. Well, we had a double. Now we got a single. Beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Look at that. If you guys want to come out here and do stuff like this, absolutely hit up my boy, Captain Johnny. I got all his stuff linked in the description below. This is a little male. Doesn't have the big hump like the one Johnny caught earlier, but still a super, super, super pretty fish, man. Oh, he's ready to go. I was gonna give him that proper release, but uh, just shook out of my hand. Oh, there's one under it. I literally see the orange of them like checking it out. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh my God. That chug bug does not look nice. Oof. Johnny. We gotta go get no, Ryan. Oh. oh my God! Set man. the hook too early. He had it. In its mouth. <laughs> what are you doing, Maury? <laughs> I didn't think he had it, dude. Ah, uh, that's sick. We got that one on video. What do you think it is? Because it's not a peacock. No, an Oscar? Oh, thank goodness. Well, you did get a bite on. Yeah. Holy cow! Drag is way too tight. Oh! Big fish on the pot. Holy cow! He ate that thing. I feel like I'm in Brazil right now. <laughs> oh, that's a four pounder all day. That's my biggest fish on a top water for in a long time. Oh my God. God, dude. Oh my God. Well, that woke me up. I was just kind of spot. Holy smokes. On the top water plug. Look at this. Let me, uh, put on. A little, uh. Oh, dude, that thing is a slab. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, yeah, what a yeah, fish, yeah. man. Look. Okay. While Johnny Dude. was taking a pick with his peacock, I was just casting up the same bank and had a big blow up that I thought was a peacock. And then I was like, oh, you know, something else came and stole it from the peacock, but caught the first largemouth of the day. Nice little, uh, nice little skinny Everglades largemouth, but man, he popped that chug bug pretty good. Yeah, yes, sir. Super I sick. got mine on the prop bait. The prop bait is very unique, and this is the craziest eat I've had all day, so. <laughs> and for probably a while, to be honest. So, very happy, glad to get these guys back in the water. Yeah. Why can't we grow big peacock bass like they have? There we go, I'm on. Woo, buddy, on the chopper. That's a nice fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I will literally, guys, I watched that fish come off of the rock and just annihilate this thing on top. These peacocks are getting aggressive, and. We definitely noticed the pattern of, once we were on top of the fish, they really like, they, they could feel the pressure of the boat. They weren't really sure what was going on. And so they're just unsure of us. But, man, this is a nice He's fish. hugging the rocks. Yeah. He does not want to come I don't know up. if he's foul hooked. I think he might be foul hooked. No, that's a big fish. No, it's a big fish and he's hooked in the mouth. Super, super cool when they're aggressive like that. Definitely foul hooked. Definitely foul hooked. Oh. <laughs> but he's still nice. Nicest peacock I've caught all day, I think. He definitely went to eat it, though. He oh, just, yeah. He, he took just a shot took, at it. I've seen peacocks with live bait miss the bait seven and eight times in a row. And he basically just went for it and got a trouble in him. You. And I don't care if the fish are half a pound. If they're eating topwater baits that are making a wild commotion like this thing, I will take those literally all day long. You know what I mean? Like watching a fish blow up a bait on top, there's nothing like it, especially if something is aggressive and spectacularly 
gorgeous is this thing? Wow. The other way with words, spectac spectacularly gorgeous. So you can't even keep up with my jargon. It's an absolute killer day. I need you guys to do me a huge favor. Check out my man Johnny's YouTube channel. He makes a bunch of different videos. I got it linked down in the description below. Super stoked, appreciate everything, man. Yes, sir. One more favor that I'm gonna ask from you guys is to check out this video right here, and I'll see you all over there.